let imagine that we have this force in opposite direction acting now. So is this force will also will act in opposite direction and this force will also act in opposite direction and therefore is it a ground reaction. So will the ground will also get some reaction. So what is the total force of this system is transmitted to the ground. Is it the vector sum of Cx and Kx. The ground will absorb some reaction. But will the ground will absorb the inertia reaction or only spring reaction and the damper reaction. Only spring and damper reaction. So whatever the force you applied is the sum force is transmitted to the ground. And is it a vector sum of spring force and damper force. So is this is the Ft. Ft. What is Ft? Force transmitted. So how much is Ft? Is it a under root of Kx Kx whole square plus Cx omega square? Can we find out Ft then? Ft divided by F0 is called as transmissibility. How much force is transmitted? So from this figure we have Ft is equal to Kx into Cx omega square. Ft is the force transmitted to the ground. So we apply Pythagoras to this. So we have Ft equals to under root of C into omega whole square plus K square multiplied by capital X. So transmissivity is the ratio of force transmitted to the ground divided by F0. And you can just plug in these two value. Your X will be get cancelled and therefore you will get transmissibility equals to term. This term is under root of C into omega whole square plus K square upon C omega whole square plus square bracket K minus M omega square and then again whole square is x and x is cancelled x and x is cancelled okay check this check my adjustment here is this adjustment is k here so if i take out k from this common or i will divide the numerator by k and i will divide the denominator by k is it the same situation like this so can i replace c by k again to zeta omega so is my this term will become after dividing by k is it 2 zeta same term 2 zeta omega bar omega n and this will become k by k is 1 k by k is 1 so is it equals to then become is omega bar omega n is same as r so is this term is indirectly 2 zeta r whole square plus 1 agree so that I write down directly then we get tr equals to transmissivity ratio equals to this term this term is c zeta by k is same as c zeta c omega by zeta this one is same as under root of and then it is replaced by what r also so this is same as 2 zeta r whole square what is k by k 1 upon under root of this now this term is same as this term. Is the adjustment is clear? Okay, we have a yesterday's lecture. We have a mass here. We have spring here, C here, and F. F zero is called as magnitude of the force. Omega is called as excitation frequency. This X will go in downward direction. As the force will act, X will also go in a downward direction. This one is mx dot is inertia force. This one is spring. This one is damper. Now as per this force, the K will K and C forces will opposite inertia will act in a direction opposite to motion. And we are governing equation is mx double dot 
plus cx plus kx is equal to external force is equals to f0 into sine of omega t what is the maximum spring force so maximum spring force will be plotted like this and this value equals to what is it k times x and it makes an angle of what theta perpendicular to this we have damping force damping force maximum value of damping force is given by c x omega and then we have the inertia force was negative minus sign because we have taken two times derivative of sine term so this one is what m into x into omega square and if you join this top uh, point with this one so this equals to what f0 and this f0 makes an angle of what phi so we can find out the phase difference between the force and the displacement x now if i draw here one dotted line and i will complete this triangle in this fashion so i can apply the pythagoras so using this pythagoras i can write f0 under root of kx and this length is kx and this length is what mx so this length is what is it k minus m into omega square and whole square x square will i will take it outside plus this length is same as cx into omega so i will write c omega whole square and this entire thing is multiplied by what x very simple to write and what is f0 f0 is also given by k times x static is it correct that is x0 static deflection when this was is stationary and if we join this point with this one so this is the vector sum of what kx and cx omega is it a kx and cx omega are the reactions on the ground that is called as force transmitted so we have a force transmitted equals to under root of this again a pythagoras huh? this one is ft this one is k times k square and this one is what c times omega square quantity multiplied by x then ft divided by f0 is called as transmissibility tr is ft divided by f0 and x upon x0 is called as magnification factor so any time you can do this